Okay, good morning everyone, it's Liam Ryan here. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm one of the co-founders of Assets for Life. I'm currently sitting here with my wonderful business partner, Jay Munoz, I'm one of the co-founders as well from Assets for Life. Excellent. So uh, Jay's actually just arrived back from uh, Jamaica. He was uh, he was having a, a long holiday over in Jamaica, having a fantastic time. And um, Jay's first day back in the office. So um, today he, we are holding uh, what we call our weekly shareholders meeting. And if you've got um, people working in your company or people that um, or a business partner, then um, a top tip for you for 2017 to run your business effectively and to make sure that everyone understands what's going on is to make sure that you have a weekly um, shareholder meeting or staff meeting you know just put it in the diary we, we generally do ours 10 o'clock on a Monday morning it's a great way to start the week and we are then able to devise tasks keep accountable to one another and then ultimately um, go out there and, and do our magic and do the stuff that we love now um, for those of you that know we are the co-founders of assets for life and we're going to be doing a very special weekly um, shout out for the month of January. Um, you know, we may carry it on in February. It depends on the feedback. Ultimately, we're here to serve you. So if you're if you're live at the moment and you've tuned in, uh, if you can just sort of you know pop your name in the box there and and just say hello, um, it will be nice to uh, to connect with you. And ultimately, during this shout out, we will be giving some tips on how to build your business, um, tips on how to take your property business to that next level in 2017, and ultimately we will be um, uh, doing some live Q&A. So if there's anyone online, if you've got any questions about property, business, finance, HMOs, um, whatever the case may be, new developments, new developments, yeah, yeah commercial new de conversions as well, commercial conversions. Then this is a good opportunity to do that because ultimately we want each and every one of you to succeed, and we want each and every one of you to live the life of your dreams, and we want you to have a fantastic. 2017. So a few people saying hi. Um, hi Neil, good to see you. Hi Jan. Um, hi Julie. Uh, nice to have you online with us. So uh, my background, for those of you that know, is, is simply sales and marketing and business and building brand and I'm very much the bigger picture person that I've got the bigger thinking that's sort of my role within the company like the driving force um, for assets for life um, here we've got Jay he's definitely the brains with the company you know very very smart guy <laughs> uh, very intelligent but Jay is very much uh, well well do you just yeah, want to explain well, my, what, yeah, what your key strengths are Jay yeah absolutely yeah. my background is basically um, Construction. I'm a chartered civil engineer. Work in the industry for over 15 years. Doing commercial developments uh, in London, commercial conversions, residential in London for you know big names, Alan Sugar, you know uh, milestones, big big massive companies. Like um, I worked in the Heron Tower project for several months, uh, Warbrook, and a few other big developments. Um, but now I'm just basically set up. Uh, my own company and, and living the dream really loving what I'm doing and um, obviously with Liam skill sets and we kind of complement each other has been a fantastic um, you know, so, so, yeah. so Jay just so the audience knows how many years have you spent working in the construction industry as a as a project manager and a chartered civil engineer how many yeah. years have you have you done that for well basically I started as a consultant first of all uh, doing designs uh, roads uh, bridges, uh, ports, uh, actually nuclear power stations as well, um, and then I moved to a contractor. Uh, so I did uh, about eight to eight to eight to uh, ten years uh, construction, basically, full on uh, demolitions, doing demolitions, doing 
uh, reinforced concrete uh, frames, steel, you know, uh, big excavations in London, etc. Yeah, great. So yeah, you know, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, yeah, different fields, basically wearing different hats. Yeah, brilliant. So, so Jay really construction background, project management, loves a spreadsheet, loves doing the numbers, Absolutely. loves getting outside, loves all the procurement of, of what we do at Assets for Life, uh, which is great. And ultimately me, I'm more working with the investors, raising the JV finance, um, going out there, doing the public speaking, running our masterminds. So, you know, we've got complementary skill sets and, you know, it enables us to help build. So, you know, if you're in property or if you're in business, we highly recommend, um, you know, don't jump into bed with a, with a business partner just for the sake of it. But ultimately, if you come across someone or you know someone and you've got complementary skill sets, then, then why not form a business relationship? You can get more done in less time. You're able to scale up a portfolio or a business much quicker. Uh, okay, you share the profits 50-50. Now, I'd rather 50% of a lot more than 100% of a lot less because ultimately your cash flows a lot more and you earn more cash. So, um, yeah, you know. So I, must, I must add to that, that, you know, working in a partnership is so much fun. You know, imagine yourself on your own, like, you know, working on your own for several hours. It's just so boring, so dull. But I, I love it because I, I just get yeah. to take the mickey out of Jay all the time, yeah? And <laughs> vice versa. <laughs> We're always taking the mickey out of one another. Uh, but that's it. You, you've got to, you know, live life to the max and you've got to enjoy what you're doing. And, and of course, look, as a business relationship, we have our ups and downs. Yeah. Um, hi, everyone else that's just joined us um, for the weekly Assets for Life weekly Facebook live shout out um, we're here to serve you and to give you some top tips on uh, on business and property and and also um, invite any questions or shares of where you're currently at in your journey so for those of you that are online with us now if you've got any questions that you'd like answering around HMOs commercial conversions land development wealth building your business JV finance um, or you just want to share where you're at at the moment and how to 2017 has, has started for you, then please type in the comments box and uh, we'd love to get you involved. But yeah, look, as a business, we have our ups and downs. We, we have, you know, the odd falling out from time to time, um, but we do it in a constructive way. We're able to talk stuff through. We're able to speak our mind and say, hey, buddy, you know, I think you need to pull your socks up a little bit. Or I don't think that went quite well. Why don't you do this next time to make it even better? So we stay accountable to one another. And I think that's absolutely vital in a business business relationship communication is absolutely key and also understanding what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do within the relationship okay <clears throat> Uh, we've got Suze Harrington. Hi, you, Suze. Suze is an older schoolmate of mine oh, cool. from St. Benedict's over, uh, well, that's, uh, I don't know how long, long ago that is, but that's bloody long time ago, that's for sure. Um, you're converting a your house into flats, is, is that right? Is that what you're saying there? Excellent. Great, good, well done, congratulations. Is that in Clacton? And are you still living in Clacton? Because I believe that's where you lived when we were in school. Yeah. I'm sure you'll... Uh... Yeah. Hiya, Jonathan. Good to see you too. Hi, Jonathan. Okay, you you, you you want to you want to build some uh, convert house into flats? Yeah, so, sure, Suze. Um, you know we uh, we run a, a one day event called the Ultimate Property Experience. Um, be really good for you to come and attend that and uh, come and spend the day with us, and we can uh, give you some uh, our six step system to. Um, to um, building and converting houses into flats or building flats. So that'd be great to, to share that experience with you. It's all about having a system in place. A lot of, don't they, Joe? A lot of people get scared mm. when it comes to doing, let's say, bigger developments or commercial conversions, but actually, you, you have your power team. Mm. You, you, you know, your power team comes into play and you have what's called a professional fee budget and you go and hire the best experts in the business to help you. So you would go and hire, what, who would you have in your power team, Jay, um, in terms of, um, you know, when you're doing larger projects? Well, larger projects, you would have, 
a you know key key one key member of your team should be an architect. Um, you know he will help you with layouts, with planning as well. Sometimes you have uh, architects that are very clear up with planning. Um, you know uh, then you have uh, once you have that ready, go that sort of, sort of primary sketch. Let's call it that way. Then you probably hire a uh, structural engineer, civil engineer as well. Uh, then once you have all the drawings together, all the scheme is in place, you start hiring contractors. But sometimes it's good to have that contractual uh, uh, input right at the beginning of the project, even before you start the design, depending how complex it is. So you know that's kind of the main sort of side team, let's call it that. So way, so, yeah. so so architect, architect, planning consultant. Yeah. Structural engineer, right. main contractor, main contractor. Sometimes mechanical and electrical engineers as well okay. come into place. Solicitor, solicitor. Obviously, okay. you will have to have that uh, also in place. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's kind of the side sort of setup. But obviously, you have you know mortgage brokers as well as well as okay. to get all your finance sourced and, and all the you know uh, development uh, uh, you know uh, money basically. Brilliant. Uh, question here from Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Uh, we're looking at doing a commercial conversion and new build. Any top tips for the discussions with development finance providers? Um, yeah, okay, that's a really good question there, Hannah. But the, the thing is in property, you, know, you have to be an open book. You know, you have to be honest and you have to be open with your finance providers. It's it's not like you can say something which isn't quite true because they just do a credit check on you and they look into you. The, the top tip that I can give you, Hannah, is when dealing with finance providers, you know, we do some work with Funding Circle and we've always found that... Um, it's always best to just try and be friendly and open and get the development finance company to buy into what you're doing. So get them to buy into your vision, get them to buy into your values, get them to buy into how you're going to operate the business and what you're trying to do for the local community. And like anything, if you're coming from a place of service and if you are genuinely wanting to add value to a local community through a commercial conversion and if you are providing good accommodation then ultimately that gives you a good starting point and you know you would treat your development funders like you would do anyone else in your power team you know you would have regular conversations uh, we meet um, the guy Jonathan at Funding Circle he'll come down on site I normally talk to Jonathan at least once every two to four weeks just to touch base and say hello because like anything in property it's about building rapport and um, connection and commitment and likability and ultimately if they like you and they trust you they'll go the extra mile for you that's not to say they'll give you the development finance um, ultimately that all comes that just depends um, that just depends but you know if the project works and you've got you know 25 to 30 percent profit margin if you're if you've got a good main contractor on side mm. It doesn't necessarily mean you won't get development finance if you haven't got any existing experience. Um, again, it just depends. So Funding Circle is a really good place to start. They're looking for deals at the moment. Um, if you would like the contact person that we use at Funding Circle, Hannah, then please drop me a private message and I'll be more than happy to uh, to just, share that with to you. Add, just to, add to, to, to what just Liam said, I, I think, Hannah, if you haven't got experience as a developer, sometimes it's good just to partner up with someone that's got experience as a developer or a main contractor or someone that you've got contract, you know, uh, you know, contract experience because obviously as anything is a risk for the lender for you to just give you a blunt sum to build something you have no experience whatsoever so you put it, put it that way. So if you have someone working with, along with you that's got that experience, you know, they will probably favour you rather than, you know, someone that hasn't got that experience if that makes sense so sometimes that also helps you know partner up with someone that uh, you know done done it a few times and has got the experience and knowledge yeah that's the great thing in property isn't it doing jvs with people you know me and jay are business partners but it's it's a jv you know we're working together to build our business to build our brand to live the, live, live the life of our dreams um, so one thing which i did want to uh, touch on and again keep the questions coming if you've got any questions to do with property developments hmos uh, finance building your brand your vision uh, wealth creation then uh, 
uh, then please drop uh, drop the question in the comments box and we will uh, help. Uh, that's fine, Hannah. Brilliant. So, um, something which I wanted to touch on this morning with Jay is the importance of networking. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure you all want to build your business in 2017. I'm sure most of you want to raise JV Finance. And the question is, have you booked in your networking events for the month of January? What is your KPI? Now, uh, we've had a very exciting development here at Assets for Life. My brother, Austin, has joined the team as the investor relations manager. Um, he couldn't be in the video this morning because he's out doing a few bits. And his main role within the business is going to be networking and meeting potential investors. And I'm gonna spend a bit of time with Austin this week helping him develop what we call your 60 second elevator pitch. So, a couple of questions, one, have you booked in networking events for this month? If so, how many? Uh, big tip, isn't it, Jay, is at least one networking event per week as a minimum. Um, just to give you an idea, Austin, my brother, uh, is currently booked in for 12. And that's what we got, like, you know, under a month left in January. So, but we say a minimum of one per week. And what's really important is when you go to these networking events is you have what's called a 60 second elevator pitch. Now, I was at a networking event towards the end of last year and everybody in the room had the opportunity to stand up and introduce themselves. There must have been about 40 of us in the room and about five people got up so about 10 percent which meant 90 percent of people stayed in their seats and didn't seize the opportunity and that's probably because they're a bit scared and a bit nervous and people hate to get up and do a bit of public speaking and they probably aren't quite clear on who they are what they do and most importantly how they can help so i want to give you all now some top tips um, which is going to help you create your elevator pitch. So there's three things that you need to work on. You need to work on, number one, who you are. Okay, so who are you and what does your company do? Okay, so who you are, what you do, but more importantly, you have to make it about the audience and you need to make it about how you can help them. What is your solution? Is that right, Jay? Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's always serving, isn't it? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you come, you come from a place of service, uh, you know, come up with a win-win scenario, it's always, always a, a, a customer or, a, you know, a joint venture partner for life. Simple as that, isn't it? Great. That's really good, Jay. So it's literally these three things. Break it down, write it on a bit of paper, do some bullet points to start with. So who you are, what you do, and more importantly, how you can help. Remember, you've got to keep it to under 60 seconds. So you don't want to start waffling. You don't want to start going off on little tangents and start talking about, you know, the Christmas holidays. You want to keep it short, sharp and sweet. And then you want to give people a call to action at the end of your 60 seconds. So you want to give people direction on what they need to do. So what I'd like to do for you now as a special January treat is share with you um, our 60 second elevator pitch that we use at you know, most of our networking events. Um, this elevator pitch has helped us raise 2.2 million pounds in 2017 and you can also go and do this if you apply yourself do something different to get something different. Put yourself out there. Risk a little bit. Might be a bit scary. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. So this is um, the 60 second elevator pitch. And it goes something like this. Good evening, everyone. My name is Liam Ryan, and I'm one of the co-founders of Assets for Life. Assets for Life is a boutique property investment company. We're based in the southeast of the UK, and we predominantly work with HMOs, 
commercial conversions and land development. However, what we really love to do is we love to work with people just like you to help you become financially free. We work with all levels of investors to help you build a multi-million pounds property portfolio. We help you take that step towards becoming financially free and getting your money to work better for you. We love property, we love people, we love working with people like you. So if you'd like to know more about how we can help you, I'm gonna be standing over by the door in the networking break. Please come and see me. Let's have a chat and let's see how we can help. Thank you very much. Okay, good. So, you know, that, that's it. That, that was the 60 second, and I probably bet that was about 60 seconds, um, unless any of you there was timing me. But you can see there, I gave a call to action at the end. I'm gonna be standing over by the door in the networking break, and, and, and I must then go and stand there, and people will come. People will come. You've gotta put yourself out there at a networking event. The other thing which I recommend at a networking event is, is spend about five minutes per person. You know, don't spend too long with just one or two people because you've only then networked with one or two people. What, what's been your experience, Jay, with, yeah. ne with networking over well, the years? Because you've done lots of, ex I lots have, of networking. Yeah. I, I think, you know, you know, obviously the elevator, the 60 second elevator pitch is a massive introduction to yourself. Then you find people that are interested in different things. Um, and you know, and in one occasion I had this investor saying, oh well, you invest in SX, uh, let's have a chat, let's, have, let's go for a coffee. And then uh, I took the number straight away and, uh, and obviously didn't spend much time with her, but then I went to someone else, I give her a ring, I said, look, you know, I'm interested in, you know, in working with you, and then took it the next step, you know what I mean, so uh, further. So it's always key to have that contact business card with yourself, you know, have a good one, uh, not the cheapest, uh, you know, what's it called, a Vista or something like that? Yeah, Proper, yeah try and have a nice business you know, card if, if you can afford to do that, that, that helps. Yeah, uh, but getting the contact for a coffee afterwards is a lot better. Yes, that is really important. Good point there, Jay. You know, don't just collect business cards at networking events, actually book in some coffees. So when you go and network, you've got your five minutes, you're having a chat, you're being open, you're explaining who you are and more importantly, how you can help. If you believe there's some synergy there, then it's really important and that you book in a coffee. Don't, don't say, oh, well, I'll call you next week, because guess what? You bloody won't. The, the business card will go in the top drawer. So book in a coffee there and then and say, hey, let's meet for a coffee. And as long as you're okay, hanging out in Starbucks and Costa Coffee, then you're gonna be absolutely fine networking, you really are. Now, uh, what I'd just like to finish on as well in terms of the 60 second elevator pitch, is stand up with confidence, okay? So when you're at the networking event, stand up and believe in yourself. Have your head held up high, you know, have the presenter stance, be confident in yourself. Now it might be that you're absolutely crapping your pants. Yeah, it might be right, Jay, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. but it doesn't matter. No one's going to see them. You're not going to take them off. It's absolutely fine. So if you crap your pants, don't worry about it. So stand up, take a big breath and just speak. Hi, everyone. My name is and this is who we are and this is what we do and this is how we can help. And just believe in yourself because you've all got great talents. You've all got something you can bring to the table and if you're in the 10% of people that stand up, guess who's gonna get the business? It's not gonna be the 90% of people that are sitting down. It's the people that stand up. It's the people that make a difference. It's the people that are brave and go outside of their comfort zone. So um, I really hope that's helped in terms of helping you develop your 60 second elevator pitch and giving you some confidence to go out there and uh, start networking and meeting investors and helping people which ultimately will help you grow your business. Uh, we've got a few people online, some people just saying, uh, Hannah there, awesome, thanks Hannah, great to have you online. Uh, my auntie Sally is online with us, hiya Sally, um, happy new year to you, uh, lovely to have have you online 
Um, so if there's any questions, you know, anyone that's online, if you've got any questions or comments about networking, raising JV finance, property in general, then this is a, a good time to uh, drop those questions in the box. Um, Julie there saying brilliant, thank you. No problem, Julie, any time. Uh, Heather Wild, oh hi, Heather, happy new year to you. Happy new year. Uh, great tips, guys, yeah, that's fine. Uh, thanks for that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, you know, certainly for the month of January, we we wanted to give the community something special, and you know, we're just normal guys. There's really? nothing special about us. You know, we're just hardworking individuals. Uh, we're very passionate about what we do. Uh, we had an amazing 2016, you know, winning Progressive Property VIP of the Year awards. Uh, how, how did that feel for you, Jay? Oh, it was great. I mean, um, I, I think as you just said, uh, you just nailed it that you need to, to wear your passion. That's one of the, the key things, I think. When you meet someone that's passionate about something, uh, it's, it's sometimes an, an investor said to me that it was quite infectious and uh, he just wanted to work with us straight away. So that's quite key. But no, this year has been fantastic. You know, we, we, you know, we work really hard for it, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, 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 it's not work anymore. It's like it's so much fun and, you know, we, we absolutely love what we do. And I, I think people have seen that. So that's why we got nominated for uh, two awards this year and we won one as well. So it's been great, it's been phenomenal. And I think we're gonna make it even better in 2017. So yeah, look forward to it. Yeah, brilliant. It's uh, it's all there to play for. There's a big world out there. You know, we believe in living a, a life of your dreams and doing what you love and focusing on what you're good at and, you know, building a power team around you and bringing in good people that can uh, that, that can drive the ship as well. So, um, yeah, just had a, a quick comment from Craig. Uh, I just want to give a, a shout out to Craig. Um, Craig um, was at a Leeds PPN event in, I think it was November last year, just before Christmas, and I I was I was presenting there the six steps to a six figure profit and Craig was one of the one of the few people that stood up and he'd done his first ever elevator pitch and I gotta say Craig you nailed it buddy you absolutely nailed it and if you keep that up it will develop over time and you'll tweak it and you'll change it and you'll become more confident and Ultimately, if you can stand up and then do 60 seconds, that's going to give you the confidence to then go and sit with someone and do a five minute talk. And then before you know it, you're going to be doing like two, three hour presentations or, you know, you're going to have the confidence to do that if need be. Um, and ultimately, you know, in property and business, it's all about confidence and rapport building and building those relationships and having those simple communication skills, which so many people unfortunately lack because they get self-conscious and they get scared and I, I get that I, I get that I get scared you know we're only human you know Jay is starting to do more speaking now um, you know Jay is not a, a natural speaker or salesperson or anything along those lines but you know Jay being on camera today is you know he's out there you know Absolutely. you know doing what he needs to do so uh, well done Craig keep that going my friends so I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the Assets for Life week one shout out. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to be online with you all today. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in and your comments and shares. We're always on hand to help out our Assets for Life and uh, keep in touch. Great. All the best. Good to see you all. Have a good week. See you later, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.